Historic flood emergency in southeast Florida swamped by more than two feet of rain with many still underwater tonight. Sam Brock is in Fort Lauderdale. Sam, what's the situation there right now? Lester, good evening. The situation right now is that there are still flooded neighborhoods here. This, as fire officials have rescued or saved more than a thousand people so far as operations, Lester, are still ongoing. After life-altering levels of rainfall, Fort Lauderdale streets are still filled with parents treading through water and clutching loved ones closely. I've been here 22 years, so it's the first time I see this happen. The city counted more than 1,100 people who called for help. This is a disaster akin to a hurricane strike. I was scared for the family and everything else. Luis Alvarez says the torrential turn of events ruined two cars and trapped him inside his house for two days. Water come up the first step second step, third step, and it kept going halfway. Signs of distress everywhere. We are a day and a half removed now from the main event here in Fort Lauderdale. There are still people wading through water in the streets. That's how bad it is. The historic level of rain, 26 inches in seven hours, left cars littered across the city and shut down the airport since Wednesday until finally reopening this morning. Elsewhere, a record heat wave sweeping across the nation. 113 million people experiencing temperatures 15 degrees above average. New York even hitting 90 degrees for a second day in a row, though incoming showers should provide relief. While in Florida, relief came in a different form. Stephen Finnegan, visiting from Ireland with his wife and two-year-old son, was trapped in rushing waters, then rescued by random strangers. Thankful for good people. It make you question your own kindness. Lives saved by a flood of compassion. Sam Brock, NBC News, Fort Lauderdale.